Creating an Effective Presentation, Perspective of a Research Scientist by A. Gallagini, PhD. After two decades as a research scientist, I found myself transitioning into a teaching position at a medical school. This career shift wasn't without its challenges. The biggest of those challenges is how to become an effective classroom teacher in biochemistry, a discipline I earned a PhD in, but one that I haven't previously taught for any significant length of time. In retrospect, it turns out that some of the skills I developed as a research scientist would help me become a more effective teacher. As a scientist, I learned several important approaches to conducting good quality research, including one, preparation, two, having a clear objective, three, organization, four, a methodical approach, five, understanding the overall significance of one's research objectives. By my second year of full-time teaching, I developed an approach for my presentations that reflected my approach as a research scientist. One, preparation. This may be the most time-consuming and important component of creating an effective presentation. This included using accurate and reliable sources and creating presentation materials, slides, based on those resources. Two, creating specific and concise learning objectives. For my 50-minute lectures, I typically had 10 to 15 learning objectives to cover. Before stepping on the podium, I typically knew the exact objectives I want to cover and in what sequence. Three, organization. The sequencing of the presented information is crucial in keeping the audience engaged throughout the lecture. This includes beginning with introductory background information, defining the terminology used, and starting with the simplest concepts first while progressively moving to more complex concepts. Four, summary, at the end of a lecture. It is important to remind the audience of some of the key take-home concepts covered. This is also an opportunity to link the topic covered with earlier relevant topics covered in previous lectures. In many ways, scientific presentations lend themselves to storytelling. They would have a beginning, a middle, and an end. The organization and sequencing of the story can bring meaning and contribute to increasing one's knowledge. My final note is regarding retention of knowledge. There are at least three components that help us retain knowledge. One, attention. Two, meaning. Three, emotion. Capturing these components in an audience during a presentation will likely increase their ability to retain it.